When Alice is in high school, she embarrasses herself horribly by falling down the stairs and wetting her pants. And that was exactly what happened to my mother in 1914 on her first day of high school. Situations may change slightly, but feelings are the same from decade to decade. I didn't start out as a series. I was just writing one book about a girl, a motherless girl, looking for a role model. And then I got so many letters from fans wanting more that um, I started a series. It follows a very ordinary girl in Silver Spring from age 8 to age 60. The very last book takes her from age 18 to 60. And uh, that's the one we're celebrating tonight. The worst part is trying to keep track of all the details from one book to another. And um, the editor finally uh, had a copywriter make the Alice Bible, which lists everything in every book, every detail, the first kiss, the birthday, what she got for each birthday, so that, and it's indexed so that when I write a new book and I need a fact, I can find it out. Alice is, is the best known series. I've been at it for 28 years and I'm, I'm glad that I lived long enough to write the last book. And um, every book to me is an achievement. It's like a child. It has its own personality. The question I get asked the most is, I love to write, but I don't know what to write about. And so I tell them to start with something that's very basic to them, something from the heart something that's happened to them, and then give it wings. It's a list that's put together by the American Library Association, and basically they keep track of how many times a book is challenged by parents, it's usually by parents, and the, the challenges often take place in school libraries, but not always, sometimes it's public libraries. And these parents are objecting for various reasons. One of the big reasons years for, the, for many years was witchcraft. Uh, uh, so the Harry Potter uh, series actually ranks number one in the number of challenges over a period from t 2000 to 2009, so that decade. The Alice books are, uh, have been challenged by parents for their sexual content. They feel, feel like it's not appropriate for children and teens to read about this. Uh, some parents feel that way. Um, so that's one of the reasons they were, they were challenged. There's, there's other reasons sometimes people don't like the language in something, they find it offensive. Some people don't. The biggest reason these days is for homosexual content or about homosexuality. Some books were made for children of a certain age, so I don't see why they would be banned, because maybe it was um, like made specifically for older kids to read like just that one book, or some books were made for the younger audience. These are Alice fans, and they really wanted to know what was going to happen to Alice. Um, and, and so they all wanted to come and get the book, but I think more than that, I think they really wanted to see the person who created Alice you know, Phyllis Renes Naylor, and, um, you know, she seems so real in the books. That's what Alice, I mean, that's what Phyllis says about Alice. People keep saying, she's such a real girl. Mm -hmm. And I think that people really wanted to see how did, how did, who was the person who created this person, this person, Alice McKinley? I feel like Alice is a person, well, Alice and her friends Pamela and Elizabeth are people that kids around my age can relate to, because Alice um, was at an age where, like, she was going through, like, like new things were happening to her and like a lot of my friends could like were going through the same thing as Alice or Elizabeth or Pamela. It was really interesting to hear um, like how how Phyllis like wrote her books and like how 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 Alice's life was a lot like her life and like her mom's. I was about the age of Alice in the first book when I um, first discovered her and for a while was parallel, now I've outgrown her. Just growing up as a middle schooler and high schooler in the Montgomery County area and seeing someone who was ordinary and awkward and went through all these trials and tribulations that so, felt so real and had such real feeling uh, community surrounding her was just something that I really identified with. It was really pleasant. Um, really enjoyed uh, the uh, lecture and um, uh, you know I, I learned new things that I hadn't uh, learned before. I have read the Alice books but I did read um, the, the article in the Washington Post and this is an end of an era and uh, it was very important and very historic. 
and I'm very glad uh, that uh, that she's she's moving on to other kinds of projects. But uh, it's it's fantastic. People grew up with it with with the books of the series, and so it's uh, an honor to be here. It's exciting that you, this is a, a child author that the children connect. They can connect to uh, the community, uh, and then maybe even look back on the history. As a woman sitting and hearing, I, I could connect. I can, I can have the remembrance of things like that going on. So I can imagine for my granddaughter, she'll, she'll get a kick at it. I hadn't read this series before, and I had read a couple other series by her, and it was nice to learn that there were other ones that I would like. I look forward to finishing this book to see like what happens. It brings you closer to the words that you're reading about. I mean, it's like getting close to anybody that, that you've admired and, and finding out how they did it and that they struggled with it, that they had um, heard criticism, that they heard praise, and yet you kept going. And uh, it's, it's important for me to see kids that are reading my books and hear their, what they think about them. Events like this, where we can actually talk to the author, are, are fantastic way of getting back into the community. And so it's very, very important for us not to lose the history and not to lose the connection. It will also get more people interested in reading because if they can actually meet the author and talk to them about why it's interesting and exciting, then they'll probably be more likely to just pick up the book and read. Very grateful for the experience and uh, happy to have met the person behind such wonderful books and glad to see younger generations getting as much out of this as I did. We're getting like, you know, really noted authors in to uh, the community and people, can, and especially kids, can meet an author, a real author, and somebody who's really accomplished something. Although Phyllis Reynolds Naylor was here this evening for the Alice books, she, you know, she's the recipient of the Newbe Newbery Medal for the book Shiloh, and that is like the, the biggest award in children's literature. So to have somebody like that at our library that people can come and meet and talk to, it's very inspiring, I think, for the community. And I feel, you know, we're lucky.